How you doing, YouTube? So I want to talk about one sure-fired, guaranteed way. Now, when I say sure-fired, it means it's already been tried by fire literally millions upon millions of times, and it works every single time. One sure-fire, guaranteed way to achieve success every single time. And anyone can do it. You see, here's what it is. You know, I know some so many people doing this. They're not special. They have no special talents. They have no special passions. They have no special desires. They don't work harder than anyone else. Here's what they do. It works every single time, and it's so easy, you've never even thought about it. Well, you've thought about it, but you resist it. But the people who do not resist it, they are the successful people in this world of today. Here's what it is. Stick to it-ness. Stick to it-ness. You stick to what it is you're doing. So how many of us see someone start a job, three months later they quit the job. Someone start a job, four months later they quit the job. Nine months later they quit the job. They start a job, they start a diet, they start saving money, they try to quit cigarettes. Whatever it is, in this case I'm actually just talking about work and success, and they quit. They quit. They, how many of us know a person who started a business, then they quit? They got the calling cards, but they're really not doing any type of work in that business. They're not really sticking to what it is they started. You know, the Bible talks about this in great detail. If you want to look up these types of subjects, these themes in the Bible, about a man who finds out what it takes to, uh, you know, the cost to build his house. He goes out, he starts to build, but then he was wrong. He stops in the middle. He doesn't have enough to finish his project. Everybody around him laughs at him. Well, I was um, a manager for several years, so I cannot tell you the hundreds of people I have seen take a job and then just for no reason just walk away. And that's what they do their whole life. They start a project and they walk away. Like they get an old automobile, they restore some of it, and then they quit and sell it. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, I know people who actually have their houses half painted from the year before or 10 years before because they didn't feel like painting the whole house. Now, I'm not really talking about laziness, and I'm not talking about eagerness. What I'm talking about is sticking to it. You know, for example, I know a guy in fast food, just a fast food job, he only makes $11 an hour. This guy has more front money in his front pocket than you have. This guy has a bigger savings account than you have. This guy has more respect by his boss and co-workers than you have. Why? Because he's an average guy. He shows up. He can be counted on. He rarely calls in sick. He takes care of his wife and his two or three kids. Every week he takes 10 percent out of his paycheck and puts it into a savings portfolio. Like a for, part of it into a 401k, well, actually, what this guy does is he saves 10% on the side, like 3% in the stock market, 3% in a, a mutual fund, and 3% in just a basic savings account. And then he maxes out his 401k at his job, which it's a lar very large fast food company. And the guy's wife has a job making minimum wage just part-time during the daytime, and yet, this guy's been doing this for 15 years. So you can see he has quite a bit of money on him because he sticks to 
it. You know, I knew a kid I hired once, and I hired him because I said during the interview, well, do you have any experience? And he says, I'm very positive. That's what he told me. And he says, I mow lawns. I said, oh, really? Tell me about that. Tell me about your lawn mowing experience. You know, I came from a farm. I can respect hard work. The kid says, well, I got about 25 customers within a mile of my house because he was actually kind of a rich kid, and his dad was forcing him to go out and work from age 14 until he went to college to get experience. So this guy, this kid, every summer mowed about 25 different lawns all year long. And guess what? He's never spent a dime of that money. He used his dad's lawnmower. He lives at home. You know, they're rich, so they provide us food. He's just a high school kid. I mean, he started in junior high. So this kid has 50% of his college tuition paid for before he w finishes the 12th grade. Why? Because this kid has stick to itness, stickability. This guy knows how to stick. What is the full success of those little yellow post it notes? You know they're going to stick to whatever you attach them to until you take them off. They have stickability. So that is the quick, easy, guaranteed, sure-fired way that you will be successful every single time in your life if you get something and stick to it all the way to the end of the achievement. Another thing that I want you to think about that I'll let you go. Most of you are unsuccessful in many areas because you never stick to it. You're looking for like this, this knowledge of what needs to be done or this great ability you need to acquire. You need to go to college and receive special information from, you know, from teachers that don't even have jobs other than just standing in a classroom and lecturing. And you're willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars to find out the secret to success. And all you got to do is save 20% of your income for your entire life just like the immigrants used to do at the turn of the 1900s, 1901, 1902. The immigrants used to save 20 to 30% of their income, and they all died multimillionaires in the 1960s. Stick to itness. Stick to itness. Stick to itness. That is the quickest and surest and guaranteed way to you being successful starting right now today.